Hi, I'm Taylor with BTOD.com. Today we're going to do an unboxing and an assembly of the refurbished Steelcase Leap V2 chair with a top activated cylinder from BTOD.com. Remove the red cap from the cylinder. With the base on its casters, drop the cylinder into the base. Align the top activated cylinder with the hole on the bottom of the chair's mechanism. Set the chair on the cylinder and press down on the seat until the chair is secure. Your chair is now ready to use. Here at BTOD.com, we make sure that every cylinder is working before it gets sent to you. But if for some reason you realize that your chair is moving down on its own when you sit down in it, or the seat height lever just isn't moving at all, there is a reason for that. Now the top activated cylinders have a set screw that may need to be loosened or tightened depending on your needs. So if the chair is moving down on its own when you sit in it, that means your set screw is too tight and making too much contact with the cylinder, so you'll have to loosen it. But if the seat height lever isn't working at all, that means you have to tighten it so that it co makes contact with that cylinder just a little more. So now I'll show you how to adjust your set screw. To start, you're going to need to take the seat pan off of your chair. Now you need to pull the seat depth all the way forward so you can easily see underneath the seat pan. Now between the mechanism and the seat pan, there should be a gap and to the left of that gap is going to be a white tab that's underneath the seat pan. Now using a long flat headed screwdriver, you're going to wedge this in that gap and push up on that white tab to activate the seat depth. Now just push up and then push it in deeper and it should activate that seat depth. Then turn your chair around and from the front, hold the seat depth lever and pull the seat pan out towards you and the seat should come off. Once your seat pan is off, you should see a hole on top of the mechanism and there should be the set screw that is inside. To adjust this set screw, you're going to use a 1 8 inch Allen wrench. Now, if your seat was moving down slowly without you using the seat height lever, that means you're going to have to loosen that set screw. Now, to loosen that set screw, you're going to take your 1 8 inch Allen wrench and just turn it a quarter turn counterclockwise. And then you should be able to test this by just sitting down on the chair without the seat pan to see if your chair is still moving down slowly, which if it is, you'll just have to loosen that just a little bit more as well. If you are having the issue where your chair just isn't moving down at all when you depress the seat height lever, that means that the set screw is not coming in contact with the top of the cylinder at all. So to adjust this, you are going to need to tighten that set screw. And using that 1 8 inch Allen wrench, you're just going to tighten that clockwise, maybe about a quarter turn, until it eventually hits that seat height lever. So to put the seat pan back on the chair, just make sure that your glides are still on the chair in the proper places. And then holding the seat pan and depressing the seat depth lever, align the glides with the track on the bottom of the chair and slowly slide the chair onto those tracks into place. Then your seat should be fully installed back onto the chair. And that is how you assemble your refurbished Steelcase Leap V2 chair from BTOD.com. If you do have any other questions on the assembly, feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching.